Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry Topic 4, Chemical Bonding and Structure, where we will be looking at covalent, ionic and metallic bonding. This video will build on your GCSE or MYP knowledge. Let's start by looking at the most common type of bonding, covalent. Covalent bonding is the strongest type of interatomic bond and occurs between non-metals. It is defined as the electrostatic attraction between a pair of nuclei and their shared pair of electrons. During a single covalent bond, the two atomic orbitals involved, each containing one electron, overlap so that the electrons are paired in what is known as a molecular orbital. The remaining pairs of electrons are left in the valent shell of the atoms involved and become known as lone pairs. It is worth noting that covalent bonds can be single, when one pair of electrons are being shared, double, where two pairs of electrons are being shared, or triple, where three pairs are being shared. We will go into more depth on the significance of lone pairs and multiple covalent bonds in the next video of this IB Chemistry Topic 4 video series. For now, you can use the table below to remember the key differences this causes in their strength and length. It is important for you to recall that covalent substances can be almost any state at room temperature, as they have different types of intermolecular bonds, explored later in this Topic 4 video series. In addition, they are generally insoluble in water, and do not conduct electricity, as there are no electrons free to move and carry charge. Whilst the pair of electrons contained within a covalent bond generally come one from each atom, this is not always the case. In a coordinate bond, also called a dative covalent bond, a single atom donates both electrons. Once this bond forms, it is identical to a regular covalent bond. The only difference is the origin of the electron pair. Let's look at an example. In H3O+, the oxygen donates a pair of electrons to one of the outer hydrogen atoms, forming a dative bond. The other outer hydrogen atoms bond via a regular covalent bond. This can also occur between molecules. For example, the nitrogen atom within NH3 donates a lone pair to BF3, forming a dative bond. When two compounds join in this way, the resulting structure is known as an adduct. Ionic bonding is the second strongest type of interatomic bond and occurs between atoms of metals and nonmetals. It is defined as the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions. But what is an ion? Well, ions are charged particles which are formed when atoms lose or gain an electron. If an atom loses an electron, it becomes a positive ion, and if it gains one, it becomes a negative ion. A useful tip for the exam is that metals always form positive ions, known as cations, and nonmetals always form negative ions, known as anions. You can remember this by just remembering that chemists positively love cats. It is worth noting that once an atom becomes an ion, it is considered isoelectric with another element, i.e. it has the same electronic configuration. For example, Mg2 plus is isoelectric with Ne. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.